what's up everybody it's cruiser bruiser here it's been a while since i've done a video it's been kind of uh kind of crazy lately we've had a shit ton of rain lately from that tropical storm coming from the south from down in like louisiana and alabama and all that shit so I've had shitty weather from that and uh also fucked my back pretty good uh, last weekend it's actually the last time I've actually ridden was last weekend and uh, was moving some furniture and stuff and I pulled something in my back and I'm not sure what I did but I'm pretty sure I have a pinched nerve though like it hurts really bad but I figured today you know I was feeling a little bit better than I have been so I'd get out and do a little bit of riding Like I said, it's been a week since this thing's been on the road, so it's about time to come out here and do a little bit of ride. Plus, I have an announcement to make for the annual Moto Nobody's scavenger hunt. So that is coming out now. I will get up to a place where I can stop and uh, read off the list because I don't remember everything on the list. I have a note in my pocket. I was going to uh, Suburban Delinquent it and stick it to my tank, but I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like looking for tape. So I'll just wait until I get somewhere and we'll stop and we'll talk it. We'll talk it through! But in case you don't know what the Moto Nobody scavenger hunt is, we had one last year that was, uh, turned out to be a pretty, you know, pretty big hit. You know, I wouldn't say like, you know, nationwide, or actually it kind of was, it was more like worldwide, because we had people from Canada and the UK, and I mean, it was all over the world participated. So we're hoping we can do that again, and this year it's going to be a little bit different than it was last year. Last year we actually had to where you just look for stuff, you know, say it was like a grain silo and a lady pushing a stroller and stuff like that. This year is a little bit more, I guess a little bit more, uh, active <laughs> there's actually tasks that we're adding into it this year and uh i will explain those to you in just a moment potato hill civil war battlefield park enjoy your visit so this is potato hill and we're gonna sit right here drop a kickstand And we're going to read this list for the scavenger hunt for the second annual 2017 Moto Vlogger Scavenger Hunt. Uh. All right. What we have today is, is uh, like you guys know, I've told you before, we do a an annual scavenger hunt which it hasn't quite turned into let me adjust my camera a little bit I feel like it's looking too high up that looks like it's a little bit better but anyway we have what we are now referring to as an annual moto vlogger scavenger hunt which is the moto nobody scavenger hunt this is the second one we've done the first one we did was uh it was more of finding stuff and not doing tasks it was like you know grain silos and farm animals and you know lady pushing a stroller things like that turned out pretty good people liked it had a good response but this year we're doing it a little bit differently we're actually going to have tasks to complete and uh yeah so anyway i forgot what i was going to say but here's the list of things you need to do i will throw it up on the screen too number one climb something taller than you now this can't be like a ladder or a step stool, which if a step stool is taller than you, then you're really tiny. But it needs to be something taller than you, like a tree or a, you know, a vehicle that's taller than you. Climb on top of the vehicle or a rock, you know, something like that. It has to be taller than you and it can't be something that's necessarily made to be climbed like a ladder, you know, etc. Number two, you have to stare at a car at a traffic light. Not stare at the car, but the person driving the car. So you pull up to a traffic light, the light's red, you need to stare at the car beside you, at the person in the driver's seat, and preferably get a, uh, 
a response from them, you know, because usually when you stare at somebody at a traffic light, they kind of look at you funny, especially if you've got a camera on your helmet. So just stare at that person. Hopefully something funny will happen, and then the light turns green, you just go. It seems like it might be pretty funny. All right, the next one is a picture with a biker. This one here, you have to have a selfie with yourself, obviously. It's not a selfie unless yourself is in it. And there needs to be a biker that you do not know in the background. He can either be on his bike or standing beside his bike, but he has to be, you know, we have to know he's a biker. I mean, it has to be obvious, whether, whether he's wearing a helmet or he is getting off his bike. Take a selfie of yourself with that biker in the background. The next one is uh, what we refer to as the penis hose. This one here is where you need to hose off your bike with a water hose or, you know, like a wand at the car wash, but you have to hold it like it's your penis. That sounds like it's going to be pretty funny. <laughs> that was good old Bacon's Broken Bits idea there. So, yeah, the penis hose, a.k.a. the Happy Gilmore hose. All right, then we have wave at a kid in a car. As you're going down the road or the traffic light, find a kid that's in the back seat or passenger seat and wave at him, and you have to get the kid to wave back. So the kid has to wave back. A lottery ticket. I'm not sure if you have lotto tickets where you are, depending on what country you're in. You know, you may not have them, or depending on what state. I'm not even sure if all 50 states have lottery now. But any kind of scratch-off ticket. Any, any kind of, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a lottery ticket, because, I mean, if your state has lottery, yes, make it a lottery ticket. But if your state does not have a lottery, then any kind of scratch-off to where you could possibly win a prize. You know, I'm not sure, whatever you call those, wherever you live. So scratch that off on camera. Hopefully we'll get somebody winning something, because that would be pretty awesome. Go into a gas station and ask for Cruiser Bruiser beer. This one I've actually done before, and then the footage became corrupt, so I wasn't able to ever put it on YouTube. But just go to a gas station or a you know beer store, like a liquor store or a package store or something like that, and go in and say, hey, do you have Cruiser Bruiser beer? Just ask them. That's all you got to do. And uh, like Just John says, his area in Oklahoma City has very strict rules on wearing helmets inside stores, so he can't do that. So we've made an exception to this rule. You don't have to be wearing a helmet, but you do have to make it obvious that you did ride your bike there. You can't just drive and go inside. So, I mean, if you're filming on your phone, film yourself, you know, walking away from your motorcycle, walking inside and asking. As long as there's proof you rode there, we're good, because this whole thing is about motorcycles. So, Last one. Film yourself dancing with your gear on, with your helmet and everything. So obviously, with your GoPro on your helmet, take your GoPro off, set it up somewhere, film yourself dancing with your with your normal gear that you normally ride in. You have to have your helmet on. So that is the exception to that rule. Or not really an exception, but that is the main rule of that one. So dance with all your gear on, because the very end of the video, I'm going to put a surprise song in there, and it's going to be a basically a... Uh, what you compilation or collage whatever the freaking montage of everyone dancing that uh that uh what the fuck is the word i'm looking for that participated <laughs> god it's been a long day and it's only like noon but anyway it's going to be a video of everyone dancing at the end with a surprise song maybe a couple of different songs of all the people that participated in the scavenger hunt and i think that'll be pretty funny i think that'll get a good laugh and last year we had uh Darth Ram created an intro and an outro for the video, which was hilarious. So if you haven't watched that yet, I'll post a link in this video. You can watch it. It's 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 pretty funny. He's going to do another intro and outro this year, so I'm not sure what to expect because he hasn't sent it to me yet. So get ready for that because it's, it's going to be pretty funny. The dude's hilarious. He, he made a really funny one last year. So, But as far as that goes, get those all on film. And the way that you will get them to me would be... Go ahead and film it all yourself. You know, obviously you're filming it all yourself. Go ahead and film them all. Edit them into clips of each one. That way I don't have to go through and actually edit your video for you. Send me a video with all the clips in it of all the tasks that you completed. And load it into YouTube, but set it in as, I believe it's private. Whichever one it is that you can load it in and share me the link. Like Share the link with me. That way I can download it. We would use Google Drive, but I have the free version, so and it's pretty full, so I don't have any extra room. I don't want to buy more Google Drive space. So load it into YouTube. Send me the link on, uh, usually on Twitter or Instagram. Instagram is probably the best because I'm really not on Twitter all that often anymore. So send it to me on Instagram chat, like Instagram message. Go on there. You can find me at Cruiser Bruiser on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description. 
you can find me on there and send me a message with the link in it and uh yeah from there i will load them all up piece them all together and edit it and make the video out of it we have a date for this which was supposed to be soon i was supposed to make this video about a month ago but i did not that was a loud truck I did not make this video a month ago like I was supposed to, because June 20th, I believe, or actually yesterday, June 24th, I think was the day we were supposed to have it all. So we're going to extend this because I'm a lazy fuck. So this is June. Let's give it until, generally we give it a few weeks. So let's say July 29th, the last weekend in July. Make sure you have these turned in to me by July 29th. I will make a couple more videos of this as we go along like I did last year, you know, reminding and updating because I know everybody that participates generally doesn't find out until a little bit into the, you know, into the whole thing, into the whole scavenger hunt. So share this video, tell everybody you know about it, anybody that moto vlogs, even if you don't moto vlog, I don't give a shit. As long as you ride a motorcycle and you can film with a freaking camera phone like my friend Jamie did with the goats, you can do that doesn't really matter you don't have to be a motor vlogger it's just all in fun it's just for motorcycle riders in general you can film with your cell phone you can do do it however you want to do it it's up to you but it's always fun you know it's it's a good time and uh yeah i hope to hope to see some of you guys footage so let's let's get a uh, let's get rolling here and do some do some riding and do some vlogging i think that that's pretty much everything i need to tell you about the scavenger hunt this year if there's more i will uh Obviously, like I said, I'll make more update videos along the way over the next four weeks. So, let's crank her up and roll.